today I'm going to do a quick uh, how to on how to use logic and Ableton together via rewire but the two modes in rewire and how you can actually use the instruments in Ableton and logic so let's get to it I have my logic opened up and I'm using one of the tracks for my microphone I'm working from a different place today than my normal studio um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the mixer. Um, you guys know the shortcut. You can hit the X on there and uh, get the mixer to come up. Or you can do Command 2 to get the mixer to come up. And there we go. I have it opened up. The first thing we want to do is we want to create an auxiliary track. Okay. So we can go here on the options and create a new auxiliary channel strip. The shortcut is Control N. Okay, so let's do the long way. Options, create new auxiliary tracks. There we go. A new auxiliary track is there. It is opened. I'm going to quickly label this one Ableton. Ableton 9. Okay. And now the input up here is what we're going to focus on. The input has to be set to whichever rewire application you're using. For this instance, we're going to use Ableton. So I'm going to select Ableton Live and I'm going to make it uh, have the input be the mix left and right, which is my output in Ableton coming into this auxiliary track in Logic. Here we go. I'm going to take this fader, I'm going to bring it up, or I'm going to option click so it can just go right to zero. Fantastic. And there you have it. We have set up an auxiliary track, which basically means that we're going to take the sound coming from Ableton and it's going to go into this auxiliary track and we're going to be able to hear it in logic that's all we've done it's pretty much a patch a cable patching out of one software into another software now the next thing we want to do obviously is launch live so here we go on the side i'm going to launch ableton uh and let's see how fast it starts to boot up if not i'll have to stop and edit it for you guys because it usually does take a long time let's find out Okay, that looks like it's going to take a bit of time. So I'm going to wait for it to launch and I will, oh, well, maybe not. Let's see. I'll still do a quick edit. Fantastic. So here we go. Um, the way we test it, I'm going to hit play, right? And before I hit play, actually, let me go back to here. You see, we can hit play from here. I'll hit play. Let's go to live. And live is playing. As you can see, it's synced up. You see this grid out here and synced up. The next thing we want to do, let's create an instrument quickly in Ableton, right? Uh, impulse sounds good. Let's double click on it. There you go. We have an impulse um, instrument. Um, instead of using uh, impulse, that's really not going to work for us. Let's do the analog quickly. There we go. We have an analog uh, instrument in Ableton set up. Now let's go over to Logic. Okay. And let's quickly take a look at something before we move on. I'm going to go into my preferences, which I can do it the long way here. Preferences, general, or I can do the shortcut command comma it will open up the same page okay now under audio and devices if we look at the rewire behavior there are two modes here three actually you can turn it off so it, rewire won't work you can do playback only which means just the output of rewire we won't be able to access the instruments to play them in logic to sequence them in logic so what i want is live mode rewire and internal because i want to be able to play the instruments that are in ableton in logic I've selected that. I'm going to close that out. Now what I want to do is I want to create an external track. Okay, we can go here to the plus sign. All right. Open up a sign and we're going to do external MIDI because the MIDI that we want to trigger is in Ableton. We're going to go create. All right. And then we're going to open the library here on the side, which is the tray up here, or the shortcut will be Y. Okay. There we go. And if you can see here, I have this track highlighted. And as you can see, you'll have Ableton Live. And then you'll see the instrument there on the side that we created in Ableton, which is analog. So now let's see if we can actually trigger it. We'll open up our musical type and keyboard in Logic. Command K for the shortcut, by the way. So as you can see, we're triggering the instrument from Ableton, right? And let's take a look at it just to make sure, right? I'm going to move a couple of things out the way. Um, there we go. You can see that, right? And the next thing we want to do, it's probably just add some silly notes in there for you guys can actually see how it works. Uh, record. 
pretty ABC silly stuff, but... So pretty much I'm sequencing MIDI and I'm triggering the instruments in Ableton to do that. And the way that we set that up in Logic, as you can see, we went into the preferences, right? And we looked at the general tab, right? Audio. And we saw that we were in rewire and internal. If we are in rewire and internal, that means that we are going to sync Logic and Ableton together, but we're also going to have access to the Ableton instruments to be able to sequence them in Logic. I hope that helps. Um, it's a pretty short uh, tutorial for the day, but that's how we do it here. Josie. <laughs> Um, guys, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook, and take a listen to our show, Samparama FM, Pretty Hybrid, NYC. See you guys later. Ciao.